In this example, we have r equals 3 cosine 2 theta. The first thing we need to do is figure out where the graph crosses the origin. So to do that, we set r equal to 0 and solve for theta. So in this case, r 0 equals 3 cosine 2 theta, so we need to know when cosine 2 theta is 0. So that will happen when 2 theta equals pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, etc. So theta is going to be pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4, which is predictable from the graph. Now, in this problem, we're only going to focus on one half of one petal. As we come around from zero to the first time it crosses the origin, and that's going to be when theta equals pi over four. So in our problem, alpha is going to equal zero, and beta, the ending angle, is going to be pi over four. When doing these problems, we want to start with a plan for how we're going to set up the integral. In this case, we have eight symmetrical regions. So we're going to do eight times the area of one half petal. So that'll be eight times our formula for area, one half the integral from alpha to beta of f of theta squared d theta. As we determined, we will have alpha be 0 and beta be pi over 4. Our function f of theta is 3 cosine 2 theta squared d theta. Now this would be the setup for the problem. We can clearly see all of the pieces in our entire plan. Eight symmetrical regions, the one half from the formula, the angles 0 to pi over 4, our function squared d theta. So now if we start to simplify the integral so that we can solve it, we would get 4 times 9 from the 3 squared, the integral from 0 to pi over 4, and now this is cosine 2 theta squared. Remember, to simplify cosine squared, we want to use the half angle formula. So that's 1 half, 1 plus cosine of 4 theta d theta, so we can actually do the integral. This becomes 18 times, doing the integration, theta plus 1 fourth sine of 4 theta, evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. So we have 18 times pi over 4 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0, and that simplifies to 9 pi over 2. And this is the total area of our figure. Pay attention to what your final answer actually did. In this case, we do have the total because we used the 8 up above. A very common mistake is to just find the area of a symmetric region and forgetting to multiply by the number of pieces that you need. <laughs>